about fellow YouTubers. So, check this out. I picked up a brand new pipe tool. Couldn't find the old one, so I got a new one. Fresh from the uh, Ash Premium Cigar Store. I also bought a brand new cigar cutter because the one I had that I bought at the uh, Cigar Rialto, I had it for several years, even after they changed the location. Um, the old one broke, so I had to buy a new one. And this new cigar cutter I got is pristine, dude. Look at that. Plug that logo. Watch out. Yeah. And the stogie I was smoking on at a friend's house earlier, this big old mother right here, and um, yeah, it's pretty good. Right there, the cigar cutter cuts beautifully. Um, this is a members only exclusive cigar. I think it's pretty tasty. It, um, yeah, I did. It satisfied the palate pretty nicely. I actually have another one in here for later. Booyakasha. And I also bought some black cherry pipe tobacco. Tell you what, that black cherry pipe tobacco is a good. Well, I got you here, YouTube. Smoking a stogie for Obi and uh, celebrating the success of my wand business. Tell you what. This uh, members only exclusive cigar is pretty freaking good. But that band right there comes off pretty easily once it gets down to a certain point. It doesn't tear the cigar up or anything, so that's good. Mm. Now we're talking. Ourselves a glass of whiskey. Yeah, I had to get a new cigar cutter too, just because the old one I had that I had bought, I had it for years, it broke on me. So I went and got a new one to go with my pipe tool. And um, yeah. Do I feel bad about freaking out about not having something like this? Yes, I do. Not having a pipe tool and freaking out about it yesterday on stream was dumb as shit. But regrettably, well, not regrettably, I should say. I was upset with the loss of a family dog, so... Yeah. Well, depending on how you look at it, I guess. Grab some, uh... Old number seven. I do apologize to some of my fans if you saw that side of me on YouTube. That can't have been relatively pleasant. We'll, we'll grab the Copper Cup, pour in some of that JD, and a splash of Coca Cola. Got me a little miniature bottle here. I don't have to buy a big one. But that's the good stuff right there, YouTube. Show that logo. But after hanging out with some friends today, honestly. It could be worse. Some of the crap I heard people talking about today about some of the shit they're going through and some of the shit they know what they're going through, uh, who some of the shit that some other people are going through, kind of thing. It's just, oh, dude. 
Life can be so goddamn depressing. But then the cherry on top of the bullshit cake, there is a family here in Wyoming who is growing CBD bud because CBD is legal in all 50 plus states. However, when they were tested on their CBD bud, it contained three to four percent more than the legal limit. And they're facing a really hefty jail sentence. Meanwhile, there's a cop who ran his squad car into a building and he's only getting probation. At some point, YouTube, when do you ask yourself, have I lost faith in humanity or has the whole fucking planet gone mad? I don't know what it is about people anymore, if it's the goddamn pandemic making people act stupid and crazy, but I'm over it. Last night I ordered me a pizza just cause I don't do that too often, like once in a blue moon. I thought, order some greasy pizza, drink some beer, you know, you'll be alright. It didn't really cheer me up. It did nothing but... I don't know, dude. The pizza was good, don't get me wrong, but... When you're depressed, it just... Dude... I mean, has the whole goddamn planet gone fucking mad? You hear a lot of people saying how the world's going to shit, and I'm just like, well, it's a matter of how you look at it, I suppose. My biggest problem is I get depressed about everyone else's shit, too. I suppose it makes me a compassionate person, but... Regardless, I get depressed about my own shit on top of it. Now, I haven't smoked a good fat cigar in a long time. I was just in the mood for one. I was browsing the pipes, the tobacco pipes they had at the Ash Cigar Store. And they were nice, but I decided I didn't need one as I already had two sitting next to me. Uh, that black cherry pipe tobacco I have is pretty damn good. Not gonna lie. Well, as you know, cannabis is illegal in Wyoming, even though our neighboring state, Colorado, is totally legal. And they're making so much fucking money off of weed in Colorado, it's not even funny. But they're going to be so fucking anal about the restrictions on THC, because normal CBD bud, which is allowed here in Wyoming, has anywhere from... No THC to like 0.3%. 0, 0. And this family they're arresting, their CBD bud had like 0.6%. 0, 0. So it was like 3 to 4 over the limit. And they're, they're going to be facing, could be facing serious jail time. You got rapists, people who are doing stupid shit, getting less prison time. And you're going to be anal about the CBD bud. You know, just fucking legalize it already. I'm fucking sick of it, dude. Casper's got a real fucking nasty meth problem, and you want to be anal about this family having 3 to 4 percent more THC than they should be having in the law. Blah, blah, blah. But then some cop drives his squad car into the building and only gets probation, and you're just like, Man, why is the world so crooked and depressed and fucked up?
That makes you think that, you know, if an old person's being crabby, guess what? They've earned the right to be crabby. Life sucks. It's the way I see it. Uh, I took the city bus to go to the Ash Cigar store, and then a couple of my friends saw me walking back to the bus stop, and I hung out with them for a bit, and then came back here. And my friends are a married couple. They've been going through some rough times, you know. Um, the, the mother in that situation just lost her kid before giving birth to it, so that's the sad reality of what women have to go through and the burden they have for bearing children. And, um, well, they gave me a ride home back to my place after hanging out. They told me about the stories that I'm bringing to your attention. So I gave them some tactical soap in hopes that it would spice up their marriage a little bit, you know. A little bit of kindness goes a long way, I think. That's what I believe. If you make an effort to be a decent person and try to make the world a better place in your own special way, it has a way of working if your voice is strong enough. Everyone's got a voice, regardless if you're strong on the voice or not. And having a strong voice, that's a definition that could be interpreted loosely. Do you have people who will listen or are you just telling it like it is, you know? Now, I got plenty of money to ship my wands out and get supplies if need be to, to box them up. So I'm not even worried about that. We'll get the wands shipped off next week. That's not a problem. I'll get that done as quickly as I can despite going through the pandemic. members exclusive I tell you what YouTube I have not had a good fat stogie in a while and this is just the creme de la creme it's delicious there's a reason why I don't smoke these fat stogies too often just because they're harsh as shit and you gotta cut them so I got me a new cigar cutter like you saw and it works just beautifully the old one I bought from the uh Cigar Rialto I had for years even after they changed the shop it broke I was like god damn it so I had to get me a new one new cigar cutter too figured it seems not while I'm there getting some pipe tobacco and a pipe tool and I picked up a cigar cutter and a couple of stogies Ugh. I'm like when I get home I need to do a video smoke a stogie drink some jack and just tell it like it is you know, it, it breaks my heart knowing that Casper Wyoming has a meth problem and you got these, this family who's growing CBD bud on their farm because it's legal here in Wyoming, but they were like three to four percent over the legal limit for THC and CBD bud, which it can happen, you know, and now they're being charged with growing cannabis and I'm like, get the fuck out of here, dude. They're facing hundreds of years in prison. They arrested the whole goddamn family. Shit you not. And I'm over here like, man, this is some ass backwards bullshit. I'm like, instead of fighting the pandemic, dealing with the coronavirus bullshit, helping each other out, you know, you're gonna be an anal asshole and harass the family for trying to make an honest living. Fact of the matter is, you can make a. Colorado makes a billion dollars off of cannabis every year. A billion. If there's 50 plus states, that's 50 plus billion dollars if every state legalized it. So it's simple math, people. And the fact that we're still going through this reefer madness bullshit when cigars and alcohol are twice as bad for you as cannabis, it's just complete asinine, to be honest.
And the fucked up part of it is you got rapists and people who are drinking and driving who are getting less prison time than this family who got caught growing CBD bud that had too much THC in it. Like, really? At what point do we stop and ask ourselves and go, what are we doing? The fuck are we doing with our... This is fucked, dude. This is a family trying to grow a crop just like anyone else. Having a farm. Tell you what. I mean, God damn it, our founding fathers grew cannabis and hemp on their plantation. So the fact that it's illegal, the fact that the United States Constitution and the Declaration of Independence were drafted on hemp. The first United States flag was sewn out of a hemp sail from a colonial ship. George Washington, our first president, smoked pot for his toothaches and his erectile dysfunction. So the fact that cannabis is illegal it's so goddamn unconstitutional, it makes my fucking stomach churn. Don't believe me? Look it up. Look it up. I don't know, dude. Like, I'm depressed because my family dog, Obi, died, and then I go to hang out with friends. They're going through some shit, people they know, or people they know are going through some shit, they're going through some shit, and it's just like, Jesus, dude, what does it fucking end? And that's the best part, it doesn't. All you can do is make the best of life. Life will straight up kick you in the balls and be like, how do you like that? Was that unfair? Too goddamn bad. Fucking shit pisses me the fuck off. <clears throat> well, here's the best part of it. Yeah, I do regret freaking out about not having the pipe tool. In retrospect, it was stupid. But I was grieving over the loss of a family pet. So and my emotions got the better of me. Needless to say, I went to the Ash Cigar store, like I said, got a new one, so, yeah. But then my asshole trolls decided to attack me during the live stream. They didn't give a fuck that I'm autistic and that I struggle with Asperger's every fucking goddamn day of my life. They didn't give a fuck that my dog died. They were just like, you know what, fuck Cobra, I wanna fuck with him, this is hilarious. Never mind the fact that if all the trolls who attacked me on that video, if they had a dog that just died, they'd be upset too, but that's beside the point. And you have to be a special kind of fucked up to do that kind of shit. These trolls don't care. I thought that once they got me swatted, they would have been like, ha ha, we got Cobra. Okay, let's back off a little bit, because that was kind of too far. Nope, they could still continue to harass me. And the only thing I can do about it is keep making videos and keep being awesome and keep being myself. Because nothing pisses my trolls off more than watching me get more subscribers. I'll tell you what, that shit pisses my trolls off more than anything. Yeah, I do. Now my dad sent me a video on Facebook 
of Obi playing with the toy. He had a rope in his mouth, super adorable. <laughs> Obi sitting there grinning like, I know the camera's on me, but I'm not going to acknowledge it until I want to. <laughs> Obi. Obi. I see you. The whole reason I made that, that fucking live stream was because, you know, because uh, I was grieving over the loss of a family pet, and sometimes making videos on YouTube for me is therapeutic. But, um, yeah, forget my trolls, man. They're losers. And my day is not quite over just yet. I still have to pinch more a bit of fun to get into. Life sucks, but all we can do is literally make the best of it, YouTube. And the cool thing about social media is if, even though if you lose relatives or pets, if you have them on camera, you can always, you can always, uh, Rewatch the video, and it's like you captured a memory of that person. Slash family member, what have you. Anyways, YouTube, thank you for watching the video. Do appreciate y'all supporting the channel. I'll catch you cool covers later.